Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about a very useful search tool called Sweet Search. I'm specifically doing this one by request, so just to let you know, I do take requests for my YouTube channels, always looking for useful tools for students and teachers for instruction and learning. Just let me know if there is a video I can put together that can be useful for your library, for your classroom, for your friends, your peers, for your learning, just let me know. So let me tell you about Sweet Search. You're going to find Sweet Search at sweetsearch.com. Just to tell you a little bit about it, if you go in here to the upper left-hand corner and click on About, this is a search tool that is fully vetted websites specifically in the area for students. It's to help you find useful information faster. It is specifically fine-tuned to help you find good information. It's cleared out ads. It's cleared out information that's not relevant. It's cleared out all types of information and material. They actually started this in 2009 and then they even went back last summer in 2017 and they're constantly evaluating, fine tuning, and they're reviewing all their links and they're scouring the websites, scouring the web for new worthy websites. So they're making it even cleaner, more useful, even better for you as students and teachers and librarians to help students find good, useful information. This was actually originally started by librarians, educators, and researchers to find the best resources. So you already have a vetted, useful tool right here for you. So let's do a little searching on Sweet Search. Easy, clean, so easy to find stuff here. Now, typically I use search tools or search terms such as teens and politics, teenagers and politics, just so we can always have the same keywords. If you're ever interested in talking about keywords, see my video about keywords and using good keywords for looking up, finding useful information, finding the best information. So I'm gonna type in teens and politics. So I am using what we call a Boolean search. I'm combining two terms. I could do teens and politics and 2018. I could do teens and politics and service. I could do teenagers and political service. I could do all sorts of stuff. You'll also notice that I have news and history. So we could take a look at those, but I'm going to do a search. I'm going to do a quick search. You will see that this is powered by Google, but this is a filtered list. You're going to have no ads, which is really nice. And you're going to see a lot of newspaper materials. You're going to see things from Teens Disillusioned by Politics, but aren't as quick as their parents, from PBS. You're going to see the Des Moines Register, which is a newspaper. You're going to see things from the New York Times, why teenagers today may grow up conservative. Teens getting involved in presidential politics. You can see your dates. And you will notice very quickly here in the right-hand corner, everything is listed by relevance, which means these articles newspapers, terms, everything is connected to what I am searching. But if you're interested in finding things by date, as in what has happened the most recently, you can go that way as well. And so this is just the first page. Of course, I could go on and look on second page, third, fourth, continuing on looking that way. I can also use, as we have done in other search videos. I can specifically narrow my search because as you will notice, I got 13 million results. I can narrow this down, do teens and politics in quotes, narrow it to six results when I put everything in quotes. I can also do teenagers and politics, giving each of them their own quote. That gives me six million. So, you know, we still, I don't know what you're doing on Saturday night, but I'm positive it's not going through six million results. And so if you really wanted to narrow down things by a term, you really want to put things in quotes that are a term unto themselves. If you were looking for instance, the term Me Too, which has recently come out in late 2017, 2018. If you were looking for a term that is popular, a term that people say, something that you want to look in quotes. You put that in quotes because that means when you put it in quotes, it's only going to search for that term. And if you check out my other video where we put things in parentheses, quotes, narrowing your search field down even further. And so highly recommend, very quick video I'm doing here, highly recommend Sweet Search, great tool, clean, easy, simple to use. You're going to find useful results. You're going to find 
newspaper articles, resources, materials, reading materials, great resources for your research, for projects, for classes, all of those types of things for school, assignments, reports, presentations, whatever the case may be. Hope that you find this useful as student. Hope you find this useful for your students as teachers and educators. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.